Your thoughts on this Alzheimer's approval and Biogen. Six million people in the U.S. suffer from Alzheimer's. As many as 14 million could be eligible to take this drug. Biogen priced this new drug uh, higher than analysts expected. It's going to charge $56,000 a year per patient. But clearly, this is a massive, massive uh, uh, breakthrough. Stock was up 38 percent yesterday on the news. What's your take? Yeah, I mean, that's the first approval we had since 2003. So it's been a long time since we've seen an approval for an Alzheimer drug. Um, I also think that it does put some kind of a halo effect over biotech and pharma, which has done like nothing this year. Um, it's kind of been dead money. And to put in perspective, Biogen basically traded up 40 percent yesterday. It's only back to where the stock was in 2015. So the thing about biotechs is they have these like huge runs up. And then they do nothing for like, you know, decades at a time. So, you know, I think it is definitely positive for that whole space, um, you know, because we've been talking every week about inflation. We've been talking about materials, financials. We've talked about all the reopening type of trade. But I also think pharmaceuticals trade cheap here versus the market. So it's not a bad place to have your money. Um, but I have to mention inflation yeah, I mean, here for a minute. Just go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, sure. No, no, I'm, I'm no, just saying that this, the path of this Alzheimer's drug uh, sort of underlines the challenges that these drug makers have with, with getting approval. This has taken a decade in terms of drug development. Hundreds of experimental Alzheimer's treatments have failed. Uh, and this is an area where you are certainly going to see growth because there hasn't been anything on the market before. So this is a big deal uh, within the pharma sector and biotech sector. But I know that the, the burn rate for biotech is something we talk about a lot. Biogen, obviously, a much larger company than some of those burn rate stocks that we, that we look at within biotech. Yeah, I mean, you can even look at just big pharma now. Uh, trade is extremely cheap. So just like your big pharma names like Merck, Pfizer, J and J. So I think the whole sector, uh, in bio, biopharma specifically, uh, is probably a good buy here, and probably you know, for the longer term prospects. And now it seems like the FDA is going to be more flexible, which is always questionable when you have a Democratic Congress because of, you know, putting pricing controls in, and you wonder about regulation. But I think this is definitely, definitely a positive as a longer term catalyst. I'm with Rob. I wouldn't buy a stock up 40 percent the next day, but I think it's a longer term trend. Uh, getting away from the inflationary conversation, which we talk about, which is funny, by the way. Me and Dennis Garvin have talked about inflation on this show for six months. The Wall Street Journal is just catching on. So just for the <laughs> record, uh, we've been on that trend for a very, very long yes. time. So <laughs> so it only takes the, you know, the media a little longer. Uh, but, you know, the point is, I think, yes, this is a part you want to this is where someone, something where you want to have exposure in your portfolio, not just the reopening trade. And I think it is a longer term. It's a great play to have some pharma in your portfolio.